Good day, greetings, and welcome to Monday, March the 25th, 2024. Out here in Mattydale, New York, back then getting unloaded. Watching Mr. Sunshine come up and people going to work. I think the uh, plow guy here has ADD. Kind of pushes piles all over the place at random. This one here should be pushed forward back because it blocks the main way up to the dock. Had to uh, back through this bank to make it happen. Thankfully nothing was damaged. Oh, it's starting to warm up a little bit here going on 10 o'clock in the morning sounds like they're taking the uh, rollers out they might almost be done here got over here and I was about quarter to quarter to six took a few minutes to uh, get angled around so that I could uh, get backed in safely that snowbank kind of threw me for a loop for a couple minutes, but uh, got her done safely. No damage was done to the truck or anything. <sighs> got a little bit of a uh, sore throat and ringing ears today. Uh, had a pretty good 34 hour break. Didn't get a full weekend because I worked Saturday, but uh, went to a benefit for a friend yesterday and there were a few bands playing, a lot of people. It was packed tighter than a can of sardines in there and uh, a lot of loud music and got home last night my ears were ringing a little bit of a sore throat today from talking to everybody really loud and kind of yelling and screaming for some of the music you know how that goes but uh it was a good time they raised a lot of money for my friend and uh hopefully all is well there but here it is monday happy monday making it happen out here in mattydale new york just waiting for them to finish up here and then uh find out what i'm off to next Sounds like they're still taking stuff off the trailer, but it sounds like they're up near the nose of the trailer. So it should just be about done. So I'm all done with the big delivery of the day. I was told to return to the yard and call dispatch. Just called dispatch. 
Got packed in, thinking that I was going home, thinking that I was done for the day. Yeah, right. <laughs> it never happened. And uh, I was told to bring the empty trailer that I have down to HQ. So I'm going down to HQ and picking up a load that's either coming back here or will be my load for tomorrow. I can't talk. I'm just going to shut up. know what time it is. <sighs> of course I'm going to have to turn the truck back on so I can roll up the window because uh, power windows are just so awesome. I'd rather have the crank for the windows. Anyway, back up here in the yard in Syracuse. I've got my load for tomorrow. I've got to take another driver with me tomorrow. Because apparently we had to recover a truck that was left up in Plattsburgh. So I'm going to go home and take a nap and come back in the morning and do this all again. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's Tuesday. Tomorrow. It's only a day away. Good day and greetings and welcome to Tuesday, March the 26th, 2024. Out here in downtown Plattsburgh, recovering a truck. We have a driver who lives in this area, had a medical emergency, had to go to the hospital, won't be able to work for a while. So uh, myself and another driver are here picking up his tractor. And uh, the other driver just went to uh, pull the truck out of the driveway. Hopefully uh, this goes okay. Okay, back over here, across town in Plattsburgh. I left the trailer that I came up here with this morning here at the uh, receiver. They said it wouldn't be a problem because I told them that I was going to be leaving the trailer for maybe a half an hour while we went and recovered the uh, other tractor. So I'm back here, all hooked up. And uh, rolling back to the yard in Syracuse, the other driver that I brought up here with me, he's going to go pick up the back load that I was supposed to pick up, so that way he gets a, a little revenue in. I came up with revenue, he's gonna go back with revenue, if that makes sense. Of course, both of us are paid by the hour. We don't own the truck, we don't pay the fuel bill or the maintenance or any of that stuff so we get paid the same whether we're loaded or empty oh, but. it's a beautiful day according to the bulldog it's 48 degrees fahrenheit up here in the north country mr sun shines out a few clouds here and there and uh gonna venture my way back to Syracuse. no dash cam hooked up just uh this camera right here Nice and smooth. <sighs> awesomeness, pure awesomeness. All right, right now it's 3.30 in the afternoon or 15.30. Back here in the yard, dropped my empty trailer, topped off my fuel tanks, took care of my uh, paperwork, computer work. And I asked my fleet manager slash dispatcher when I was going to be switching trucks again because it's only it's Tuesday and I can't talk but it's Tuesday and as of right now I am behind on my quota for switching trucks for the week 
My average quota of switching trucks lately has been three times a week. It's Tuesday and I haven't switched yet. <laughs> oh, gotta love it. Anyway, uh, going to uh, Plattsburgh once again tomorrow. It's looking like maybe the uh, routine run might be back in place. Or back in action. Whatever. I might learn how to talk someday. It might happen. Good day, greetings, and welcome to Wednesday, March the 27th, 2024. Rolling through Canton, New York, on my way to Plattsburgh, New York, taking care of the old routine run here. It's 7.30 a.m. Up here in Plattsburgh, New York. Checked in. Just waiting to back in. So I can get unloaded. And go on with my day. That's what's going on, eh? Every time you slide tandems with this truck, you get that warning. That there is a nice truck. Really nice truck. did a tug check the brakes work the trailer's still there that's a beautiful thing that's a beautiful thing drop in and hook in nice and smooth let's do this again drop in and hook in hook in and drop in drop in and hook in trailers that is Drop in and hook in, hook in and drop in, drop in, hook in, drop in, hook in, drop in, hook 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 and I'll call it a day, probably. No clue what it is that I'm doing tomorrow because as you know, I work on a need to know basis and when I need to know what it is that I'm doing, they tell me and I do it. Kind of like being married, but uh, I get paid to get told what to do here. <laughs> uh, and I'm not married anymore. I'm, I'm officially divorced as of uh, June 15th of last year. Rut roll. Now usually I would take the right at this light here, but they're doing some uh, work on the intersection there. And I don't think I can make the swing there because they left about enough room for a smart car on the other side of their dump truck. So I'm going to take the scenic route here to get back to uh, 190. Up here 
here in beautiful Plattsburgh, New York. According to the Bulldog, it is 44 degrees Fahrenheit. The wind is uh, kicking pretty good up here. Kind of chilly. Sign to the right says slow, so that means punch it, Chewy. Come on. There's that awesome bulldog power right there. Actually, there's nothing wrong with the power. It's just that they castrate them so bad here. They're, they've got no power. But they think they're saving fuel. <laughs> Sure, it brings me up to 374, which will bring me up to 190, but okay, she's pointing to me. Didn't your mom tell you it's not polite to point? Get the point? <laughs> I don't know why she's pointing there. This here is Tom Miller Road. I don't know who Tom Miller was, but or, or is, but they named the road after him. That's a nice dump truck right there. It's Kenworth dump truck. Yeah, now that I think about it, that quarry road back there does go back to 374. I would have been okay. We got time. Sometimes you just gotta take the scenic route or take the long way home. I believe the uh, Super Tramp was uh, the ones who said that. Take the long way home. Oncoming traffic may have extended green. Cool. with you.
Iceberg Creamery. Oh, so it's like a pizza place and an ice cream place. Oh, they're two separate buildings. Ah. So you can go get yourself a pizza and go over and get yourself an ice cream cone for dessert. Eddie's home style cooking. Looks like a nice little eating establishment. Well, that's an insurance company. We don't care about insurance companies. Take me over to 81, south down to Syracuse. Change of scenery is nice once in a while, you know? Good day and greetings and welcome to Thursday, March the 28th, 2024. Out here in Tonawanda, New York. Two-stop delivery this morning. I'm at stop number one. It's a uh, beautiful spring-like morning out here. Backed up to the dock, waiting for the crew to come in. So I can get unloaded. All done here in Tonawanda, New York. Stop number one of the day. 6.30 a.m., arrived here at 5.25. Rolling down to stop number two in Dunkirk, New York. It's been a while since I've been down there. Mr. Sunshine, how are you today? This clip is brought to you by a very, very, very dirty windshield. It's 7.45 a.m. I'm at my second stop down here in Dunkirk, New York. Backed up to the dock waiting for the crew to get here so I can open up the doors and back in. My appointment's for 9.12 a.m., which is kind of a weird time, but that's how they set it up. And, uh, it's been a decent day. It was a decent ride down here, and, uh, Life is good. Life is not perfect, but life is good. Well, it's 9.25 a.m. Got back in here at 9.15 a.m. Down here at stop number two in Dunkirk, New York. Right now I've got seven hours and five minutes left on the DOT clock for the day. And I believe it takes a little over three hours to get back to the yard in Syracuse. So we'll see how this one plays out. Just going for a little walk. It's a little chilly. According to my phone, it's 38 degrees Fahrenheit. But with the sun out, it feels a little bit warmer. Light breeze, but. Oh. Still nice to take a walk. Get out, stretch the legs. Exercise. It's almost time to get the old uh, 1984 Schwinn Predator out and uh, get riding that around. All right, seatbelt is fastened, brakes are released, foot on the brake pedal, D for drive. It's 11.30 a.m. I'm empty out here in Dunkirk, New York. Both of my deliveries are done for today. I have five hours left on the DOT clock for the day, 
and it takes a little over three hours to get back to Syracuse. So there's not much I can do as far as picking things up along the way back. So uh, I was instructed to take the empty trailer back to the yard and I've got a surprise waiting for me when I get back there. I like surprises most of the time. <laughs> to the Bulldog here, it's 49 degrees Fahrenheit, Mr. Sunshine is shining, the birds are singing, life is good right now, it's not perfect, but life is good. That's a nice truck right there. International Eagle. Once again, oh yeah, this was uh, the big surprise I was talking about. Oh, I love that sound. So back here in the yard, brought my empty trailer back here and uh, swapped back into my truck. Got a long day ahead of me tomorrow. That's going to be a good time. Looking forward to the weekend. It's back. Whoa, they finally tore it down. That's one of the last ones to get torn down and rebuilt. Tape rolling in three, two, one, action. Ah, oh, that's a beautiful sound right there. That's a nice truck. Sounds pretty good as well. Anyway, good day and greetings and welcome to Friday, March the 29th, 2024. Out here at stop number one for the day in Geneva, New York. They're just starting to get unloaded. It is currently 8.25 in the a.m. 8 o'clock appointment. I've got a second stop after this. And uh, it's a beautiful spring morning. All done with delivery number one of the day out here in Geneva, New York. Continue on route 5 at 20. On my way out to the second delivery in Olean, New York.
roundabouts, rotaries, uh, make no flipping sense to me, yada, 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 yada. That's kind of straight. It's kind of lame for a roundabout. Oh, there's another one coming up. At the roundabout, take the fourth exit to North Union Street. The fourth exit. This is unique. <laughs> All right.
off some sound. No surprise over there. You say Olean, I say Olean. They're both spelled the same, so that's all that really matters, right? Right. Down here in Olean, New York, it is uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I have 5 hours and 24 minutes left on the DOT clock. They're hitting the trailer pretty hard. I'm guessing they probably want to go home. They've only got like 142 pieces, so it shouldn't take very long. That was quite the uh, adventure rolling through the uh, village of Olean here to get to the dock back here. But made it happen, got her done. The check engine light, no surprise there. I got the truck back yesterday. I talked to the shop and it's some kind of def cooler, sensor, micro, who knows. Something to do with the emission system. No way. But hanging out here, getting unloaded, and then uh, find out where I'm off to next. I believe I'm just going back to the yard in Syracuse, but you never know uh, what dispatch has up their sleeves. And uh, hear that? Hear that? Okay, let me roll the window down so you can hear it better. Hear that? That's the weekend calling. It took them just under an hour to unload their stuff off the trailer. Roll back to the yard in Syracuse. This clip is called Escape from Olean. Turn right on Delaware Avenue, <laughs> then take the second right. Sunshine's bopping me in the eyeballs here. But three, two, one, action. Oh, that there is the bestest sound there is. The wind's blowing pretty good out there. Roll up the windows and 
make that sound a little better. Cut down on some of the wind noise there. Back here in the yard in Syracuse, dropped my empty trailer, topped off my fuel tanks, took care of the paperwork, computer work, yada, 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 yada. I've got my assignment for Monday, which is uh, the routine Plattsburgh run. And uh, I'm not working tomorrow. Yay! Round of applause. I'm not working on Saturday this week. Got some stuff to take care of tomorrow. Going to hang out with a friend tomorrow afternoon get some lunch should be a good time ah it's easter sunday uh, my son's going over to his mom's house so i don't know i might uh do a hike with my sister or something not really big on the holidays much anymore but uh if you participate in the holidays you've got your family over and enjoying the day i hope you have a great day and uh until the next video i will catch y'all later Y'all have a good one, eh? I'm out of here. Hasta la pasta. And as my good friend Dump Truck Bob would say, adios! We need more automatic plastomatic Diaz for drive trucks. Yes, we do. Yes, we do.